Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS and Mongoose CRUD tutorial series. In the last episode, we have implemented the create functionality and today we are going to implement the read functionality. We'll implement different variations of it. I'll show you how to use uh, the read method to fetch all the data using find method. Then I'm also going to implement find by ID. That means when you are looking for a specific ID. We'll implement both the use cases in today's episode. Let's get started. If you have missed out on the first three parts, kindly go through them. This code that I'm doing, live coding, is part of the continuous uh, kind of a code related code. So it will only make sense if you are following the series. But anyway, if you are new here, that's also fine. If you just want to implement read functionality, that's also fine. All right, so today, we are going to learn about CRUD functionality that is read. In the R in CRUD stands for read. We'll be implementing the HTTP GET method, okay? Because whenever we try to retrieve data, it's always a GET method, okay? All right, so that being said, let's jump into code. <coughs> so this is what we had done in the last episode. Uh, we implemented the router POST and this was used for creating new documents. Let's go ahead and start writing for read functionality. <coughs> so we'll use the get method. So always get means whenever you're requesting data. So first I'm going to implement find, which means get all the data. So I'm going to write async request and then, so this is my layout. There is a callback, async callback. And whenever we try and write any async, any code in JavaScript anywhere, we'll first always write try catch. That's a good practice to just make sure that nothing fancy fancy happens. So you do a console log, then you do result dot status 500 dot JSON, and you also give back a message and maybe say unable to get contacts. All right, so that's the catch scenario. Now in the try, we have a schema that we created and we are working with. That's the contact model. So I'm going to say contact dot. There's a method called find. Now what find does is it would find all the details, all the documents that are available in that collection. And I'm going to do a then and for this, also I'm going to write a error. Okay. <coughs> and the way I will implement is first for catch, I'm going to console log it. And then I'm going to give a result and say status 500. Again, same message. <coughs> Unable to get contacts. Okay. That is the scenario where it fails. I have, <coughs> I'm using the method find and I'm saying contact dot find, find all the documents in this collection. And then what do you do? You can just do a console log for debug purpose. And then we are going to say results dot status 200 dot JSON. <coughs> and I'm going to return that, right? So I'm going to say contacts, whatever data I got, I'm returning it. Okay, I'm going to also implement search functionality in the next episode where we will see how to get specific data, not all. But right now, what I'm showing you is how do you get all the data? That's the use case I'm writing right now. So that's all we need. It should be straightforward. Uh, I'm going to close and I'm going to run the program by saying node index.js and I'll go to my postman. I'll select the option as get API slash contact, it is still the same because it's slash contact. And in the index, we are saying use slash API, right? So it would be slash API slash contact. Now let's hit send. Okay, so we are getting the data. Okay, some of you might be wondering, this was from the post. So it doesn't matter, I'm not sending in the post. So when I do hit, I'm getting a document, we have only one record currently in my collection. So if I do find, 
I get only one. <coughs> if you have many, you would see many records. So let's do that also. And I'm going to add some data just to show you. I'm going to show you unique and post. Okay, now I'm going to insert data. So it says contact successfully saved. Now let's use the get method to retrieve and now it is showing two records. Okay, so perfect. So our get is working as expected. Now let's go ahead and write code for getting a specific document. Okay, so this was read all contacts. Okay, this would return us all the contacts. But what I want is only a particular contact. So nality read read single contact. And for that again we are going to use the get method. So I'm going to write router dot get and it would still be contact but with colon ID. That means now we are passing a parameter ID and that would be our that is what will be the ID that we will search with. <coughs> right? So in the URL now, you're going to pass something like this API slash contact slash ID, some value, whatever value you're trying to retrieve. Okay, that's how the URL will look like. Now, the first thing we'll do is to capture this param. Okay, this is a param by the name ID. So we need to capture it. So I'm going to say ID equal to request dot params dot ID. That means in the params, here find ID and get its value once you have that right again like I say first whenever we build async methods the first thing we should do is write try catch and then only proceed with logic it would it saves a lot of time um, because and you never know what scenarios might fail so it's always a good idea to make sure that you have the correct error messaging in place. So here, unable to get the contact. Okay, so that's for the <coughs> error message that if it fails. So I'm trying try first get the ID from the request parameters and then using the schema, I'm going to say find by ID. Okay, so this will take a parameter which is an ID and the ID we will pass is the one that we got from the params. And again, we'll write then the contact that we got. And here we'll write the catch. And we'll write error. Okay. And what are we going to do? We're just simply going to log it. And also maybe return the response. And we are going to say response dot status 500 dot json message enable to get the contact. Okay, so that's for when it fails. Now, if it is successful, what do we do? <coughs> Usually, I in product in prod copies, right? You don't write console logs, but I tend to write it for debug purpose. So make sure that if you are comfortable and tested the code and you're sure that it's working as expected, then you can easily delete the console logs. So now I'm ju just doing response dot status 200 dot JSON and return the same contact that I received as part of this. Okay, so once it will execute this method, it will find a contact. If yes, we'll send it. If no, we'll give the error. So let's restart the server by writing node index.js. And now first I'm going to run the get command to get all the contacts. So it's giving me all the details. I'm going to copy an ID and go here and paste in front of the contact and hit send. And now it is only bringing me one contact, right? The contact where it matched the ID. Now I'm going to pass a wrong ID. So it says unable to get the contact, right? So instead unable to find the contact. Okay, so that's a better messaging. So we can always, and here we can say 
run it and it says unable to find the contact but if you give the correct data and it would find you that particular contact easily okay so that's how today we are learning new methods also that is find and find by id in the first i use the find method to find all the contacts all the documents in a collection here i am using find by id method which takes a single id and matches in the collection if it matches it will return if not it will give you error simple straightforward i hope now you will be able to implement the read functionality pause the video get comfortable start coding wherever you want and then let me know if you have any doubts okay in the next episode i'm going to extend the read functionality and write a search functionality okay like i'll write the search and probably we will do some operations on it and try and find the documents using search functionality okay so we'll write a custom code to search those documents that's all in this episode continue your learning with me in the next episode we'll continue building the search functionality thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode